Hey y'all, we're going to walk through how to customize your two registration pages um, real quick. And we're going to start with, uh, let's start with volunteers. Um, and so here's what you're going to do is, I'm just going to tell you, it's going to be easier to search by your campus than by, your, by VBS, just because there's so many campuses and two VBS registrations per. So when I pull this up, I can see I've got Little Rock, I've got volunteers and kids. So let's start um, with volunteers. So when I click into volunteers, um, you can see it go, takes me immediately to who's already signed up. Look, Kevin Little has already signed up to volunteer. Wonderful. You're going to click into manage. Um, hey, and let's say this. If for some reason you search your campus and you don't have access to any of these registrations or you don't have a registrations tab on your planning center, just reach out and I'll, what I'll, I'll go into your... Um, I'll show you what I'll do, but that, just so you know, that's a... So in this description is basically a description of VBS. Um, just thanks for wanting to be a part of this. And then I've got some questions that folks typically ask me. Um, and so you can go through. Um, if I want to change any of this, I'm going to click Edit. And basically, I can go through and I can answer these questions for my campus. I wrote this, so these are for my questions. If for some reason you wanted to add, if there's a question you get asked often, I just... Uh, again, copy the, the bold print and the non-bold print, hit copy, come down here, um, click on down, boop, 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 and then paste, and huh, I wonder why that didn't uh, give me a bullet. Let's add a bullet, boop, and now we got a bullet, and I'm going to do that. Oh, and here's the deal. If you hold down shift and hit return, then it basically includes it as part of that in the boot shift and return. And so now, um, now I can go in and I can change this question, change that. Um, so I'm going to go, I don't need to do that. So, but if you needed to add a question and an answer, that's what you would do. And so I'm going to come in here and that's also something you can do is as you're talking with your volunteers, is they're asking questions that aren't here, I would go ahead and go and add it to it. Um, so that's going to be in your description and we'll take um, a look at what that's going to look like. Here's my location and I, I don't think I've changed any of your locations. So you're just going to click in, find your campus and choose it. Um, and then you're going to go here and go edit and you're going to get rid uh, and you're going to, again, make sure that um, only your campus is selected and the children's ministry is there. Boom. So that's what you're going to do in the about, about set. And then we're going to go to settings. And inside of settings, you're going to change each of these dates. You're going to click edit. And then again, you can see all the in input is right there. Um, here's where uh, I would add you. If you don't have access to registrations, but I need you to manage it, um, then I would add somebody's name here, right? So let's say that I want um, Kelsey Rowland, uh, to, who's our VBS director, to be able to do this. I would choose her name, and then I would click it. Boom, and now she is available um, as a um, someone who can fill in those things. There you go. Uh, visibility on Church Center. Um, now, again, here's the deal. Is I wanted to go on a specific date, and we start uh, at 612. And so for my volunteers, I am going to go eight weeks back, right? Eight weeks back. And so one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm gonna. It's gonna go live the week after Easter. It's gonna go live the week after Easter. Now here's the deal. If if anybody has the link, they can get to the link. This just means that it's gonna pop up on Church Center. Um, on that date, on that date, the volunteer link will just be present on church center for anybody to see if you want to just make it now you can um but we're gonna we're gonna do registration scheduled to open again if you just want to make it open because it's volunteers you can do that um or if you just want to make the push start the 16th we're gonna make it do that okay so again, no one can uh can actually sign in unless this is set to open and so i'm gonna make um, again, that, that gives you some options. I'm just going to make mine open, but I'm going to make it pop up on Church Center. So I can send this to anybody I want to, to go ahead and sign up at any time. 
but it's just going to be out there for everybody on April 16th. So there you go. That's the plan. Notice also down here that we've taken these um, questions that get asked a lot and replace them there. So if you edit them in the about section, here's what you're going to do is you're going to hit edit and you're going to take this part and you're going to go all the way down to the end and boom, copy that. And then I'm going to hit save and I'm going to go back to settings. And now this is my confirmation email. And again, same thing. Here's that initial part. I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom, highlight it, and then paste it, command V. And so that way it just makes sure, I just want it to be in their inbox so they have all those questions listed. Edit, edit notification list. If anybody needs this information as people are entering it, so if you have someone who's managing your volunteers, you would do an edit notification list and emails, and they would get notification of every person that is applying. So basically, if someone's managing your ministry safe process, this might be something good. So actually, I'm going to put my email in. This might be something good for you to put in for them so that they get those emails. There you go. Um, coming on down, info to collect. Um, this is kind of important. Uh, and so, again, um, which areas are willing, where you're willing to serve, click into it. Um, we've set it up for us in kind of the areas we use. If there's any more or less areas, you can delete them here, add them here. But here's the crazy thing. You can't edit them. So if you want it to say anything different than it does here, you're going to have to delete and add. And then once they're in here, you can kind of move them around to wherever you want them. There you go. If you need a description for it, you can see it. Let's. I want to show you something real quick. So we're going to cancel. Which days will you be able to serve? Go ahead and change these to your dates. Um, this just lets you know if someone's going to be there the whole time or if maybe they won't be available particular days. And then I really encourage you to keep this question um, just to check the box if they're willing to complete the ministry safe protocols or if they've done it within the last three years. And you can kind of see um, what's listed there. So there you go. So that's it. Everything else selection for this one, it's just volunteer. So you don't have to really worry about that too much. Add-ins, forms, discount scholarships, nothing there. And so once you've um, modified those things, text me and let me know, um, just so I know to not hound you about it, but to know that your thing is updated. So there you go. That's how you update your um, volunteer template.